ladies, Shelly Kelly, Yummy Perfect Confidential. Welcome to my kitchen in Solana Beach, California. I always love having you here and you are always welcome in my kitchen. All right, so today I have for you sugar-free, gluten-free, chocolate, peanut butter, energy bites. These are kept in the freezer. They are wonderful for breakfast and healthy snacks all week long. They are full of antioxidants, good protein, good fats, fiber, and all sorts of other goodies. All right, let's wash our hands and let me show you how I made them. Okay, the recipe is going to be down below in the video description, so just scroll below and there's a link to the recipe with all of the exact ingredients and the exact measurements. So you're gonna start with a bowl, and we're going to start with one cup of gluten-free rolled oats, and make sure that they say gluten-free. Um, if you don't care about gluten, don't worry about it, but um, oats are naturally gluten-free, but a lot of them are made in facilities that make other things that have gluten in them, and so there could be some crops contamination. So if you wanna make sure that they're gluten-free, make sure that they say that. All right, so some steel-cut oats. We're going to put in some wheat bran, all right? And again, the recipe link will be below, and I always put uh, links to the ingredients too to make it easier for you. We're gonna have about a third a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. That just adds a nice little chewiness to it. About a quarter cup of flax seeds. We wanna be regular, don't we? Flax seeds. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of chia seeds. Chia seeds are great uh, protein, good fat, and fiber. And next, we're going to use the secret ingredient, not so secret, which is the peanut butter, okay? And so you can use almond butter if you want. I mean, really, this is just kind of a template of a recipe. I'm looking for my cup. All right, here it is. A template of a recipe so you can use almond butter of course or any kind of a nut butter that you like but we're using peanut butter today because I love peanut butter and I love peanut butter and chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups is one of my favorite um, <laughs> candies but you know probably shouldn't be eating now all right so we're gonna do some peanut butter now this is unsweetened and unsalted um, if you follow me you know that I'm all about extremely low sugar I eat very close to sugar free. All right, so we're gonna do about a cup. So I just need a little more. And ladies, um, yes, these do have a lot of good fats in them. And so that's why I would have them for a breakfast or a snack. And we're gonna roll them into little balls and you would have maybe one or two is a lady sized portion for breakfast or a snack. And they're really good with a side of fresh berries because I mean, come on, peanut butter, chocolate, and like some fresh raspberries or fresh strawberries uh, are perfect together. So we're gonna do the peanut butter. And then we are going to do a little bit of vanilla extract because you wanna put flavor in there. So we're gonna put a little bit of vanilla extract, give it some flavor. And you're gonna want a dash of salt. Where is my salt? Okay, <laughs> back to our show. All right, so I'm gonna put about half of a teaspoon in there. A little bit of salt. And it needs a little something to sweeten it up. Even though I'm sure you're sweet enough, it needs a little sweetener in there. And so I use uh, my monk fruit sweetener. This is maple flavored monk fruit sweetener. Again, it is a natural sweetener. It is no refined sugar, no sugar. It's not gonna spike your blood sugar. And it is made of monk fruit, which is a natural sweetener again. All right, so I'm gonna put about half a cup in there. You know I eyeball everything, right? That's about half a cup. And then I'm going to, oh, the other good thing. Well, let me do this first. All right, so let's give it a quick mix because we wanna combine it. Be sure to put the blender on um, low speed. One time I put it on high and it was just a hot mess around here. So just give it a nice quick whir, just enough to incorporate all of the ingredients. And Oliver loves these. My husband loves these. So when I told him I was making them um, for you today, he was all excited. 
she was all excited. And you're just gonna, like I said, you're just gonna put, put these in the freezer, but we're gonna do a little something fun at the end because I'm feeling a little crazy today. And it'll be a little bit of a special treat. We're gonna roll them, half of them we're gonna roll in chopped peanuts. And the other half we're gonna roll in dark cocoa powder. Amazon's here. We're gonna roll them in dark cocoa powder. That will be the chocolate ones. All right, so we'll give it a quick whir. And then I'm gonna give it a quick taste. It needs more sweet, huh? All right, do a little bit of that. And you can do this to taste. And then I'm going to add in some chopped peanuts, all right? This adds a nice little crunch to the energy balls. I love these, these are so good. And really all you need is, we're gonna roll them in about inch and a half diameter, and that's really all you need. So yes, it does have fat. Your body needs fat, you guys. Seriously, your body needs some good fat and this fits the bill. So you will feel good after eating it and you'll feel satiated. I'm a messy cook. Okay. Okay, that's it. So, give it a little tap. Clean up a little. Okay, now the fun part. I have here about half a cup of chopped up peanuts that I just uh, chopped very finely. And then I have, just, this is just Hershey's dark cocoa powder. All we're gonna do is we are gonna roll these into little balls, you know, about an inch and a half, two inch diameter, and that's gonna be one serving, all right? So you'll want one or two of these for breakfast with berries, maybe one for a snack. So I'm gonna roll all of these. We're gonna put them in the freezer and then I'm gonna show you what they look like. Bada bing, bada bang, look what we did today. This is the finished dish, and this is exactly how I would have them for breakfast. I have a little chocolate one and a peanut one. I have a nice side of berries and a latte. This is a perfect breakfast for me. I think that you will love it. These are so good. Oh my God, all right. Those are really good. All right, so then. I would have two of these for breakfast with some fresh berries, a latte, have one of them with a cup of tea for an afternoon snack, and these are amazing. If you want the recipe, it's down below in the video description. And for more healthy recipes for wellness, style, fitness, light healthy recipes, and healthy living, visit me on the blog, AnnieParkerConfidential.com, and I'll see you on the blog.